Alright. Fucking thing. Do 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 do. Uh oh. According to Streamlabs, we cut out. This shouldn't be a replay. It's currently ongoing. <laughs> the fuck? Sorry, guys. We're having some technical difficulties. All right. There we go. Hello, everybody. That was kind of weird. Um, I am Johnny Juicebox from Psycho Juicebox, and today we're going to be doing more of our playthrough of Russia uh, on Empire Total War. So, let's get that game up. never works if I start the game before Stream Manager for some reason. I'm going to assume it's because it's like an older game. But who knows? You never know with stupid bullshit. You know what I mean? Two hundred and fifty-eight hours. <sighs> like over 10 days straight. I guess it's not that bad. Mm. Oh well. Don't think about those things. So, if you are not aware of how our Empire Total War streams go, then here's a little bit of a rundown. We've got a Discord. If you go to the Discord, which uh, the links are right here for the discord if you go there then you can join what we call the council oh fuck that's loud let's see if uh all right you have to control alt delete to get it because for some reason the windows button doesn't work right <laughs> Okay, we have way too many windows open. I don't think we need Discord open on the computer. We got it through the phone. So, basically what we do is I constantly keep a log in uh, the Discord of everything that happens in the game. Any major events. We call it our history books. Yes. And... That way everyone can see what's happening in the world of the game, uh, what we've done, casualty numbers in battles, so you can help decide whether or not uh, you like how our policy's going, basically. Whether or not the wars are just... <laughs> Fuck. Come on, it's okay thing. That's not right. Hmm. Okay. Oh wait, maybe game capture. I think that's how I do it instead of window capture. Yeah, there we go. Capture a specific window. That's Empire. Move that down here. 
And here we go. All right, it's working. Let's go ahead, continue our campaign. Uh, basically, any kind of resolution to wars or starting of wars has to be voted on by the council and is decided through majority vote. In the last, in one of the last votes, we had a few. Uh, we had a vote on whether we should continue our current wars. And uh, our votes were basically to uh, not negotiate peace with Sweden, but attempt to negotiate peace with Venice, who declared war on us in our last episode. Also, one of our goals in this episode is going to be to build up the Russian Navy, because we don't have a navy. And if we are going to continue the war with either Venice or Sweden, we have to have a navy at this point, because... Donna, what are you doing? I heard things shift. I'm sure it's fine. Ooh, there is no port in this building. What is this, a shipyard? I think that's a military thing, right? Yeah. We don't have a ton of money, but we could build a couple of ships. I would imagine that. Sixth rate ship of the line. Ah, oh, shit. How does that have such a high firepower? Oh, we'll build a ship of the line. And. Eh. Well. Can't build another one, so uh, let's build a brig. It's like, I'm really feeling like the main reason that that's so, uh, um, let's check out how the Middle East is doing. Palestine, how you feeling? Eh, not super happy for foreign intervention, but you know, it is what it is. Syria. Uh, also, not super jazzed about all this. I don't expect many things. I'm sure I have a missionary around here somewhere. We've got this army who's chilling here, helping to defend Persia from any Georgian rebels that might pop up. Yeah, they're not super... The, the Georgians aren't super happy to be conquered by the Persians with our help, but, you know, eh. Ah, that Islam's spreading. Is that spreading here, too? It is. Wow. They're on top of that shit. That's cool. We are good friends with Persia. We have often defended each other or protected each other. That's not 100% true. Well, it's kind of true. I mean, they declared war on people to aid us. They aren't super helpful because they've been bogged down in, like, a crazy-ass war with with, uh, Georgia for years now. All right building up this army. We got this army built. We're basically kind of expecting a war with France. I mean, on, on paper, it looks like we're probably not, but, like, we kind of are. They betrayed us at one point, um, and, and really things just aren't looking great for our diplomatic relations overall with them. Um, Poland, Lithuania is still happy with us, though. Hmm. 
who are they at war? <laughs> who are they at war with? The answer is there's this fucked up weird war going on. Uh, I guess the closest we could really uh, describe it as is like maybe uh, the Seven Years War, but probably not. It would probably be closer to the Great Northern War. <laughs> uh, Basically, Sweden is, yeah, Sweden's also at war with a shit ton of people, but a lot of that's my fault, because <clears throat> when they declared war on us, I dragged a shit ton of allies in against them. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Allergies. Uh... But yeah, there's a big war going on with Prussia. Well, it's kind of going on between everyone, though. It's really bizarre. So it's like Great Britain, Poland, and Austria are all at war with them. And, like, we're at war with Venice and the Ottoman Empire. I mean, Russia's always at war with the Ottoman Empire, but you know what I mean. Honestly, we don't need a huge navy. Because the main purpose of our navy is just to... To bring some people into Denmark. And just end that. But they're going to have to deal with this. And that's a shit ton of ships of the line. A lot of sixth rates. And a sloop. Well, guess uh, we'll be done with that. Oh, this is... What the shit, dude? That's the guy I was looking for. It's alright. I'm trying to get this rake down here to keep an eye on the Indian borders because I am certain that once they finish with the Mughal Empire, they're going to start fucking up Persia, and then we're going to end up at war with the Marathas. <sighs> Which isn't 100% something that we want, but if we're going to stick by our allies, it's something that we should do. And generally, the only emergency war powers, the only war powers I have, based on uh, what we're doing, is I have the right to choose whether or not we go to war with our allies. So, like, if our allies get attacked, then I can, I can, uh, I can choose to go in with our allies like, choose to uphold alliances. And generally, we do that. We, we usually are, uh, we're good allies. We don't like to betray people. Because it makes everyone else pissed, and... I mean, there was that situation where we assassinated a bunch of priests and imams. But that's different. That's, uh, fuck, people were pissed about that for a long time years. Anyway, it's it is what it is. It's not it's different kind of I mean, yeah. It's I mean, technically it is a different situation. One is a war crime and one is not. At least I assume that's a war crime. I would argue that they were acting as combatants cuz they were trying to start a revolu a revolution in the borders, but eh Semantics. Besides, the Geneva Convention hasn't happened yet, so it's fine, right? <laughs> See, we're keeping those guys right there, because we don't want... I don't want Georgia coming back. Georgia hated us. They were openly hostile towards us multiple times. Uh, they were pissed because of our war with Dagestan. 
Uh, I think we voted oh, that our war with Sweden is called the IKEA transaction, which is fun. Areas now will increase your nation's trade income later. Tell me more, happy lady. Oh shit. Man, we have Cyprus too? Damn. What is Cyprus a part of? Syria? Really? I figured that would be a part of Anatolia, but... Eh. Hmm. I'm gonna say we're going to spend money for this fleet instead. For now. Although... Hmm. Look at that shit. Pulling in some taxes from them. This is going to increase unhappiness, though. Hopefully, hopefully that'll have already decreased by then. You know, I know it's weird, but, like, I'm kind of rooting for Prussia because I've never had a game where they lasted more than, like... <laughs> like... Usually by 1740, they're gone. Also, we do, if we want to win this game, we do have to conquer some shit. Still, we need 14 more by 1799. Which is another reason the Marat, the Confederacy declares war on us. We're pretty prestigious, but the Marat... Like, if we go to war with the Marat, the Confederacy, we have a bigger military, but they have a lot better economics, and uh, whatever the fuck Enlightenment is. Also Navy, but... You know. How is Sweden still this high? Holy fuck, we we have just demolished the Ottomans in our war with them at this point. Okay. Do we have open borders with... Austria, because then we can just fuck up Venice. Austria, how you feel about us? Indifferent? You want a little bit of, uh... You want a little bit of military access? You want, like... 20 turns of military access? It'd be fun. Cool. Good, then we don't have to do a naval invasion of fucking Venice. That makes me happy. I don't... I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't know how... Uh, yeah, this territory is still pretty pissy. Does that help? A little bit. How are these guys feeling? Uh, that's also not great. Hmm. Oh, wow. Well, as of right now, that's okay. We don't plan on moving these guys for a bit. This was that invasion force from the Battle of... the Battle of Istanbul... It was great. Don't look into it. <laughs> Things were fine. Honestly, it wasn't like that terrible, though. We don't really need a church school here, do we? Although, the more we have of those... Later... Uh, 
Where is our, that port we're building a navy at? Is it here? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, I see. High damage. They're glass cannons. All right. Hey, Prussia, how you feel about us? Man. Hey, Prussia. You wanna play military access? Okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, shit. That's fine. I was just hoping that... It was one of the reasons I, I generally don't play is... I generally, like, actively try and not deal with the Navy. It's, especially as Russia. Almost everyone has a better Navy than we do. I mean, this one's not that bad. But then, this is literally what we're attacking. <laughs> Oh shit, they voted to try and negotiate peace with Venice. I don't think they're gonna go for it, but... Hmm. <laughs> yeah, they're not gonna agree to that. Oh, they have money. How about you give us some monies? Hmm. The council will never say that I have not tried, hopefully. Maybe if I threaten them, it'll work better? Hmm. I don't think this is gonna work. Nope, not gonna work. All right. So, now it's, I mean, do Venice and Austria like each other? <laughs> the answer is nobody really likes them. They don't really like Austria either. Or maybe they do. But Austria is not a fan of them. Let's see other nations' attitudes towards us. Hmm. Britain's not a big fan of us. Who's is this? Oh, the United Provinces. They don't like us either. Oh, fuck, I sank. This chair, man. <laughs> hmm. Seems like there hasn't been a rebellion here for a bit. Man, they're saying there's gonna be... Okay. 
Let's build two of those. How you doing? Norway. What's your deal? A little bit of religious unrest. That's a gentleman. What are you? Swedish gentleman. You know what? Duel! little game or a little uh video the fuck <laughs> but which one uh Oh. No. Huh. Yeah, that's... I like that because that's actually kind of how a lot of duels went. Where it was generally considered pretty rare for them to actually kill each other it would usually just be like one of them was wounded unless you were dueling Andrew Jackson because that dude was a fucking maniac but you know <laughs> although he also dueled everyone because he would freak out whenever anyone called his wife a prostitute which apparently happened a lot which is kind of funny because that apparently was what his wife's job was before they were married. Anyway, it's... I, I just find Andrew Jackson to be kind of funny. Just a silly, silly man. What kind of church school is this? This is one of ours. Cool. Hmm. Oh, we don't have any more money. We don't really have much else to do. We're kind of in a... administrative period, even though we're at war right now. I guess I should be keeping an eye out on a few other, uh, mil like a few other, ah, uh, yes, eBay? <laughs> what you gotta say to me? Space shuttle model, huh. I don't know what I looked up for that. But, guys, if you want to join the, uh, the council on Discord, all you have to do is go to this. I don't know why Venice declared war on us in the first place. We never had any kind of situation with them. I think they just wanted to try and capture all of Greece from us. Which I've seen it happen in this game. Uh, one of the games I played, Venice became a moderately large empire in the game. Like, they had all of uh i think they had like all of this territory like they had their territory connected to the uh venetian territory so like it it stretched like all around here it was really weird i 
I've seen that happen with the Cherokee in this game too. The Cherokee just kicked the kicked the Spanish out of most of most of like what would now be the United States. The only Spanish stuff left was like Mexico on down. And there we go. <sighs> well, gotta let the council know about this one. I fucking called it, guys. I fucking called it. I told y'all they were moving for that. They just did it a little bit earlier than I expected. Summer of 1727. The Maratha... Confederacy... Oh, they're not going to have to, actually. The real question is whether Russia gets involved, let's be honest. And the answer is, fuck yeah we are. We have come to Persia's aid. Carrying resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas now will increase your nation's trade income later. There we go. Sorry, guys. All right, that's a ooh. Mm. I remember when I played as the Ottoman Empire, and uh, we conquered. We conquered all of America, and turned it Muslim. Just infiltrate. Just go in there. Get up in there. That was weird. All right. Well, I guess, hopefully, we can... <sighs> now, the real question we have at this point is we have a perfectly good army right here. They're doing fine. Um... Let's go fight us some Indians? Does it count as India yet?
I mean, they're definitely Hindu. I don't know. Uh, if someone's from India, let me know. So I, my understanding is that the Maratha Confederacy is definitely the precursor to the modern Indian nation. As it was the the push out of the of the Muslim caliphate. That being said, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm I'm not up to snuff on my on my Indian history. I apologize. What can they do? What can they do? What they can? What they do? What that cannon do? I think I want these. Oh, well, you know what? much as I want to fuck shit up in the Americas for Russia, maybe that's just not, maybe that's not where, where our victory lies, man. Maybe it's here. Oh shit, this is, well, well shit, um, can we build in Chechnya nicely? Alright, we got some shit in Chechnya. Fuck, not that. Fuck yeah. A lot of religious unrest in there. Why is there so much religious unrest? Put this guy here. I man. Oh shit, that's right. There's a Orthodox ch school I can build over here. I wonder what I can do with that guy. How's the how's the <laughs> Turkish army doing? Just about as good as always. That's nice to see. Oh. <sighs> Look at that. Top two, baby! Wasn't expecting the finals right up front. But you know what? We can fuck up some India. You know what? I actually wanted to... Man, I can't... Uh, I can't make peace without approval of the council. Plus, all of these armies are being used, basically, at the moment anyway, so. I think we, we need that shit. Man, where'd you fucking come from? Did we build you here? I guess so. Oh shit, colonial infantry? That's neat. Anyone who's watched our our streams before know how uh, how much of a fan I am of uh, of our native musket men over in the Americas. Uh, I invaded I invaded India when I was the Ottoman Empire. I invaded India with an entire army of native musket men, and uh, I think the African unit was called, like, something Amazons? Which I'm not sure if that's an okay term anymore. I'm not sure if any of these are okay terms. It's just what they're called. I'm sorry. Man, 
I just know that this navy is going to make a move if I push my navy in. How you doing? How long till we get down here? That's... It's a while. Hmm. <laughs> All right, let's uh end the turn. And council members are just like, are we winning? And I'm like, uh, we haven't even gotten to India yet. But we will be winning. Actually, I don't know. There, I had a series of wars with the Maratha Confederacy in, uh, when I played as the Ottoman Empire. And it was a series of, I think, three, three different wars. Four, if you count a war that we had with Mysore. And, uh, they, those are the wars where it it definitely was like that old that old uh, adage of what does it actually mean to win a war? Because it was like yeah we uh oh building farms here will help the population. Who the fuck killed my missionary? <laughs> Austria, why, man? Austria is just. Fickle as shit. Ooh. Hey, let's check on our government. It's been a few years. Um, we're looking pretty decent. I mean, except for Peter. Peter the First. I mean, our government popularity is up there, but... It could be better, but... Is it going to get better is the real question. And the real answer is, who knows? You know? We can try. We can definitely try. Hmm. Oh, that's not ours. That's Persia. Persia, that's your issue. Look at that. Man. Y'all... You know, I'm just so happy to have some nice allies who want to just be good. <laughs> That's dumb. Uh, I just love having allies that drag us into wars. It's, they didn't really drag us in. They, It's not their fault that, that the Marathas have decided to be dicks. Huh. 
Eh. That's the that's the reality, guys. Sorry. We're in a. I mean, I can't say slump. Cause we're doing things. It's just we're in a waiting period. We're in a. You know what I mean. We're in a period of time where things are. A, I mean, there's nothing much going down on the homeland. Why did you cancel in the first place, you fucking psychos? Like, for real, Leopold the First, what's your damage? Best share ever. Target. Love Target. Like this this chair, it's like a a giant poofy chair and it rocks. I mean it's loud, but I could probably oil it and make that go away. The only downside is that it like f f f f like every now and then you'll see me just like sink. <laughs> like I'm going into the sunken place. But I love my desk. I love my chair. This is actually my work desk. I play on a laptop. So I got all my coins and shit over here. Got my notebooks here and some more of my coin stuff. My world coin book. Desk calendar. It's a little workspace for me. Not for real work, just for like work homework I guess and I got a nice window got my bonsai tree and if you want to help sh mold some Russian policy uh, fun shit what the shit is that there is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms. Nice. That's some money. To grow over time and produce trade income. All right, let's check that guy out. Nice. You know, honestly, one of the reasons I haven't even considered putting up a navy is because we're Russia, and traditionally Russia isn't a huge naval power. Let's build two of those. We'll uh, keep building up this army over here. Why can't I recruit a general? Not enough money? Maybe. Let's recruit let's recruit a general from the artillery. Fuck yeah. Look at that guy. Man, I really wish this was a little more like uh like um Rome 2 though. Where you had like the royal family. We could have the royal family and try and uh we could recruit some uh recruit recruit some people out of the royal family and tell them to go and fight in wars that was kind of a thing back in the day and I mean let's be real let's have more rich people fight in wars Oh, a scholar. Hmm. Or someone to duel someone when you need them. I'm kidding. I don't think we need to fuck around with that too much. I 
I'm almost certain at some point we were like, man, I should really build up Baghdad as like a place to build a military. And then I just didn't. <laughs> How you doing, Jerusalem? Looking a little Islamic over there. <laughs> Was that second one Catholic? Okay. Huh. I mean, I guess I, I can kind of see it, but... Let's, eh. let's put some more people. Let's, let's put them back there. Not big on that. The way I've kind of been seeing it is uh, kind of want to capture Istanbul and Egypt, and then we can leave the Ottomans with mainland Turkey with Anatolia. Try and uh, try and make some peace with them at that point. Or, because <laughs> I really expected the council to be like, "Yeah, we've we've been at war with Sweden for over twenty years now. I think it's about time to end that war." And they were like, "No, fuck Sweden." <laughs> so, uh, and that was that was like the pacifist coalition that was just like fuck Sweden, let them die. <laughs> it's like, all right. But if you would like to join the council and determine Russian policy, including whether to make war or peace, or vote on uh, what to name wars in the history books, one of them, uh, they just voted on what to call the war with Sweden, and uh, so far, with one vote. Uh, so far, only one person has voted on the names that were suggested, and uh, it is the IKEA transaction. <laughs> so if you want to name it the War of the Spilled Meatballs or the IKEA Smash, you can vote in there. Generally, I don't vote in uh, any council, in any council issues, because it would feel strange for the king to, to have a vote in that. Because in the end, it's my my job to more like put the votes forward I figure I could be like a tiebreaker maybe gotta keep that hydration going alright we're still working Ah, <sighs> it's a fun day so far, right guys? What time is it? I should probably keep an eye on it. Looks like it's... It's three? That's alright. And not a lot of, uh, major... things to include in the... in the... history books, either. Man, 
Oh, fuck, why do I have a feeling that the Russians are gonna end up fighting in Afghanistan? Oh, no. That really didn't go well the last time they did that. I kind of love, like, any time a country fights in Afghanistan and then they just, like, get their shit rocked and then they Today's leave and they're like, WE WON! <laughs> it's like, oh, Select the I guess. <laughs> a fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. Oh, okay? Allows the construction of warships. Well, let's just send this missionary to go fuck with people, I guess. See, all the way across, like, what am I supposed to do here with this? Let's go convert some French people, I guess. I, I don't know. What is this? What is this state? Plus, we can kind of use him to see. Oh, I... Me being like, man, I'm really concerned about the French, and they're just like, we have like three people here. <laughs> it's like, oh, hmm. Well, let's make all of all of your people Orthodox instead. You know, I used to say when uh, they canceled trade agreements with us, but like they stopped. They they've been doing this shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what the fuck is happening. Good. That's probably good. Happy drinker. Huh? What are you? Huh. Well. I guess we have a missionary in the Americas now to convert all of the peoples. Uh oh. Austria, how you doing? The answer is not fucking great, apparently. Is that... Is Silesia all that's left of Austria? Prussia? Prussia's alright. Holy fuck. This is just reminding me of uh, when I played the Ottoman Empire. And it was just like... it. The end game was just like... Me, Poland, Lithuania, Sweden, and Sweden was just like, I think Sweden was only Sweden, and all the rest of it was, or Sweden was uh, Denmark, Norway, and Sweden, but Denmark kept getting like overrun, but then like recaptured, and then uh, I think France was there, and I was allies with Sweden, France... Sweden and France, and Grand Colombia. And then uh, Poland was on its own, but Poland took up, like, all of this, or all of this, pretty much. And France was, like, all of here. And uh, I was all of Russia, and then through the Barbary States, because I, I dissolved at the beginning of the game in order to become friends with with European nations I had to disavow the Barbary states so I did that and then I just declared war on them and captured all the Barbary states and it made all the European countries like me a little more <laughs> you know this is a crazy war going on around here but I gotta give props to the United Provinces. Doing good. Much better than I would expect. Not capturing Brussels, but... I mean, Cologne? Eh. Not bad. 
Not bad, guys. Donna, what are you doing? You're jumping around like a maniac. Jumping nimbly bimbly from tree to tree. get a few cav anyone who's who's watched me play knows that uh i am like hague when it comes to fucking cav so uh probably not the best choice you know what i don't remember how india is on cavalry so maybe I can just run run crazy behind their lines with that. Huh. Oh, fuck, we're going to be fighting in Afghanistan. Where are we at? Well, let's march to fucking Kabul. So I guess this is what we're doing now. Russia and Afghanistan. A wonderful history together. <laughs> we only we had tanks, we could recreate the beast. It would be great. Uh, we have a nice little alliance going, though. I mean, we got Poland. We got Poland right to our west. We got the Iroquois, who are... Uh, who are our American allies. And we got Persia, who are allies to the south. I mean... I'm just happy we're going to... Uh, reality, I'm just happy that we're going to end up getting down to India before they have caused massive damage to our allies. To our friends and neighbors. How you go? Uh, infiltrate that city. Go into Kabul. You know what's nuts, though? Is that they haven't... Usually this... Usually when I've seen this happen, uh... It usually when they declare war on Afghanistan or on Persia, it ends up uh, like. I mean, usually they've they've cleaned up the Mughals a little bit better, you know. I mean, it's don't get me wrong, it's not. It's not a great position that they're in. And we are most likely not properly equipped to launch a full-scale invasion of the Maratha Confederacy or the Indian subcontinent. However, <laughs> I mean, we're doing what we can. We'll do what we can. We're trying. Um, that's why I'm building up this reinforcement army in uh, Chechnya, Dagestan. And it's, it's going to take a while, but I think our other army is, I think uh, our other army is built up enough. Oh, fuck. I think they're, they're good enough to maybe, fuck. Well, 
those are line infantry. They'll be okay. They can at least hold their own for a while until reinforcements come. Especially against, like, these smaller armies. <sighs> Kandahar? Oh, alright, let's, uh... Fuck, I didn't spend all my money. Oh, well. It just means I got more money to spend on my next turn. Now remember, guys. Well, actually, this is this is a defensive war. All sh all shits off the table. Fuck up, fuck up the Marat, the Confederacy. No rules. No rules. Let's fight in Afghanistan. <laughs> Man, this is not what I expected. It's not how I expected uh, today to go. I mean, I, I expected this... I've been expecting this war. I thought it would come eventually. I was not expecting it this soon. Oh man, we're about to go into the 30s. Not too long till the 30s. The dirty 30s. Right, Donna? That's right, you little muffin. There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here What's this? will help What's the population this? to grow over time. And it's a sixth rate. Right? What's this? I have sixty-nine hundred dollars. I wish I had that much money. Hmm. That's not recruitment. Um, one more. Let's check it out. Honestly, I don't. I'm really bad at defending walls. It always just turns into a fucked up shit show. Um, so I don't think I'm going to build walls in Dagestan. Not that I'm expecting an invasion of of uh, Dagestan, but. You never know what's gonna happen. Sometimes weird shit happens in this game. <laughs> For instance, Austria constantly uh, starting and ending uh, trade agreements with me. Actually, no. I don't think I can do a trade agreement with Austria. They are, they're barely a nation. <laughs> they don't exist in Austria anymore. <laughs> At least I don't think Silesia is part of Austria now. Pretty sure that's, like, part of Germany. Yeah, that that's not Austria. <laughs> Pretty sure. Although, I guess it could be. Who knows? Yeah, because I think, yeah, Austria is like here, and it's it's you're not even you anymore. Let's keep those guys there for a little bit longer. Oh, 
Oh yeah, wasn't there a thing where we wanted to build a college or a church school? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> All of y'all are just like, you're at war with India. <laughs> Sometimes shit gets weird. I don't know what to tell you. I thought I was going to build, name this, let's build a navy, but I think I'm just going to call it Russians in Afghanistan, smiley face. You devilish rogue, you. Wait, come back! Come back! Eh. Well, let's go capture Kabul. I think they have city walls, so. Huh. Oh, yeah, let's check on that missionary. How you be? How's this? Huh. That's going decently. Now, is this useful? Probably not, but, eh, it couldn't be a negative thing, right? Like, if we end up, like, if we end up going to war with, with France, them, these territories already, uh, because... Because, like, uh, what we have talked about already is, oh no, a French Georgia. No, the Cherokee are gonna die. Use of people gonna die? Uh, who's at war with, with Britain? Because, like... Uh, no one over here. I would love to see Spain in charge of Britain and just, like, fuck up the colonies. Get Britain really upset. Does having him actually there increase it at all? No? Well, fuck it. Just leave him there, because otherwise I'll forget. Let's look for some more missionaries, guys. Missionaries. How's that going? Finland, Finland, Finland. It's the country for me. Finland is the country where we dance. Finland is the country where we play. Alright, we're done with that.
can hide in woodlands. Ah, they're slow moving. I think these 12 pounders are the ones I really like, but it could be, uh, the ones I really like could be the, the mortars. How are things going here? It's not great, dude. It's really not great. Fucking lawnmower people, really? God damn it, I sank again. <laughs> oh, wait. Infiltrate. Because hmm. according to this, we actually do have a better military than than Maratha by a decent bit. Check out our ministers. There's no one better to pick, so... Eh. Honestly? What can we recruit here? Oh. We'll recruit a few of those guys, too, to send up here. Well, hang on. And one of those. Because, uh, we're just going to charge the walls at Istanbul. Just like, let's just do a human wave attack against Istanbul. Let's do that. And it's a pretty old-school Russian tactic, but I think it might work. I mean, it eventually worked out in with the Persians in Georgia here, so we can do it against the Ottomans. Just charge the walls, climb up the walls... You know, it's what we did in it's what we did in the last battle, and we almost won. the The reality is that the the autumn the the Ottoman Revolution to make it the Ottoman Republic is is what really destroyed their army. <laughs> it's what really trashed their army because, I mean basically uh, wiped out their professional army and replaced it with mobs. <laughs> and if you want to help uh, mold Russian policy, you can cancel that. You can go to our Discord and uh, all you have to do is click on that link you can join our Discord, go down to the Council, and you can vote on different things. We put up votes, uh, referendums, whatever you want to say. Uh, you're allowed to to present policy things. that you would like Building to, uh, to grow prevent, present uh, policy that you would like to create. Oh, fuck. I think that's one of these guys.
God damn. How old you be? Oh, fuck. How old you be? Oh, that's not bad. How old you be? 52? Uh. What's Iron Hand? I hope he has a literal Iron Hand. I'm gonna say he does, just... Just for funsies. I don't fully understand what all of that means, but I'm sure it's fine. What's this? Spices? Spices. Give you some of them chili peppers, see? Eh? Afghanistan, how you be? <laughs> Did they just leave K Kabul to its own devices? Yup, they're just like, fuck this. Let's go fuck up another city. Um... I feel like Kabul is about to pop. We'll station these guys here at Kandahar. Let's see what happens. Oh fuck, why are why are we just like alright, and that's good enough. <laughs> I feel like dealing with these guys they've got artillery man fuck I mean that's not terrible but like infiltrate oh no <laughs> welp never mind that probably wasn't a great choice or a great idea to begin with um, do we have any more rakes anywhere nearby? Man, I would hate to be, like, any kind of agent under my control, because it's just like, yo, dude, what's up? <laughs> Actually, let's infiltrate that city. And, uh, we'll move this one down into India. We'll just say right there. Where else do we have some rakes? Because just want to make sure that, like, uh, that's that one, I guess. Where are you going? What are you doing? Hmm. Let's send him down here to just keep an eye on the situation in what is now Austria.
Oh, that's a shit ton of cavalry. Holy fuck. You know, god damn it. Remember, if you charge enough horses at the machine guns, eventually their blood and guts will clog the machine guns and then they won't be able to fire them anymore. It's just the way, uh, it's, it's the proper military tactic. Most, most people don't know about it. But it's the most useful military tactic when you're dealing with, uh, with machine guns. Just clog them up with the blood of your own men. There we go. Hmm. hmm. We can deal a little bit with, uh. It's not a shit ton of, uh. Not a lot of sad people here. Hmm. have a lot of gentlemen wandering around and I'm not a hundred percent sure what to do with them all oh shit yeah let's do that maybe maybe we've been neglecting our economics a little bit oh fuck okay that's cool Still got a got a bunch of naval ships coming in. Eventually we'll have a navy big enough to uh Eventually we'll have a navy big enough to not be severely fucked with, although I'm also very bad at naval battles in this game, so, you know, take that for what it's worth. Also, remember, you can, uh, join the, join the thing, do the thing, join the council, you can help mold Russian policy, it's pretty cool, we vote on stuff. Also, uh, all war and peace is determined by the council. Because we believe in the way, like, the U.S. should be, where uh, Congress has to vote to go to war. The only emergency war powers there are are, basically, if they declare war on us, or if, uh, or if our allies are declared war on, it's, dele it's delegated to me on whether or not on whether or not uh, we go to war to help our allies. And usually we do. That's the reality. We, we've, we've decided we're going to be very good allies to our allies, mostly because our allies are mostly minor nations like Persia and the Iroquois. To, uh, two nations that I feel like we've been very good to. Um, we gave them Tatarstan, or Tataria, in exchange for Michigan and a military alliance. However, uh, Tataria was captured by rebels. And we're currently looking for a new territory to uh, gift to our Iroquois allies. There on the mainland region that has not yet been developed select the type of port to construct all right where are you cool will help your population grow a trade port will let's send him down let's trade. send him to afghanistan <laughs> allows the construction of warships I have a feeling. Ah, oh, fuck, I could really use 
Ooh, that'll bring up our economy. All right, it's about time to check on how all this is doing. Let's leave them there for a bit. They don't really care much about taxes as far as things go. It's going to be okay, though, because things are fun. Infiltrate. Successful. Sneaky. He's a sneaky man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sweden is not dealing with their bankruptcy issues properly. Uh, which is understandable. Uh, they've lost 90% of their land mass to Russia. Hmm. Also, I forgot to say, welcome to 1730, folks. We have 69 years left of the game. What? No. Fuck. How is that? Nope, that's... That's not great. If they are so bankrupt, how are they maintaining this navy? That's a huge fucking navy. Also, they have naval units over here, too. And those aren't, like, small ships. Those are fourth rates and fifth rates. God damn. I can't imagine those are, those are their, that's their whole navy. Um... Build one of those too. But yeah, there hasn't been a a ton to add to uh to the history books the last like several years. I mean, you I guess I could have talked about the I guess I could have added all of the trade agreement stuff, but I mean it was just so quick back and forth. Also, I didn't think about it, so Sorry. <laughs> I think that's that's Austria. <laughs> Austria's or Sweden is just like ha 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 fuck your your uh your my gentleman's going to fuck around. Yeah. <laughs> Persia, you have a navy? <clears throat> Why are you pulling your troops back away from the fucking borders? I mean, I know that's not a huge army, but, like, it could help. It could be helpful. Oh, wait. I think they are moving them. Okay. 
mean, I would recommend keeping that army in Georgia because the Georgians are uppity right now. Um... There is unused land suitable for farming in this region. Building farms here will help the population to grow over time and produce trade income. Remlazar. Nice. Well, that's okay, because all I really wanted to know was how big their forces are over here. How big that army dick be. That was weird. I'm not going to say that again. Actually, I probably will at some point. <laughs> Here's Austria with a weird amount of cavalry. <laughs> well, sir, we can only use one unit for our army. What should it be? Horses! All the horses! <sighs> okay. Two, three, four, five. What do we have? What do we have? We have four. Let's do one more. Alright, how's Sibili C? Look at that! Oh, well. It's not going swimmingly. It's going well enough. Honestly, uh, you know, I probably should be healing these units. Because <laughs> for real, they're going to Cairo next. <laughs> After Jerusalem, it's Cairo. And like, they've they got fucked up in in Syria pretty bad. I just want to see that army is down here. It looks like they're not. Where did they go? Well. We'll, uh. We'll move them over to Afghanistan then. We'll go and invade Kabul. <sighs> Man, it is kind of like Russians and like the Soviet Afghan war where the Russians are just wandering around. The only difference is they're not constantly dying. <laughs> Hmm. 
if man I'm probably posting this way too often but like you can join the council if you want it's a pretty cool thing hey I'm just gonna log this cuz we haven't logged much established trade agreements with the United Provinces they're gonna be like hang on a second no updates for four years so four years nothing happened and I'm gonna have to be like yeah <laughs> I guess I could have been like uh in like you know oh uh winter winter seventeen thirty continues to wander around Afghanistan <laughs> like what the fuck do you want from me? Russian troops continue to wander around Afghanistan <laughs> just. Totally fucking lost, looking for an army that's probably left to go and fight the Mughals. Actually, I should have checked out that situation. Honestly, though, if we fight the Indians hard enough, or bad enough, or if we put up enough of a fight against against the Maratha Confederacy, the Mughal Empire might survive the game. Never had that happen before. That'd be pretty neat. Hmm. Actually, one of my favorite schemes that I ever pulled was when I played as the Maratha Confederacy. And uh, I think it was the first or second turn, I traded territory with Prussia. I gave them a part of India, and they gave me a part of like a territory in the European mainland. And I just built up an army there, and then stationed an army right outside of there. And then later on, I... Like, not too long after, I declared war on Prussia, and I recaptured the territory in India, and then I captured, like, all of Prussia in, uh, in Europe. So I just had a giant chunk of Europe to, as a base. have recruited so many units your treasury is buckling under the weight of their upkeep uh capturing new regions would spread the costs as well as putting the men to good use raising taxes will also help although mm. that also increases the chances of insurrection at home you know wait. alternatively simply disband any unnecessary units i don't think we have a ton of unnecessary units Oh no. Hmm. Well. Let's cancel those guys. Um. How's this looking? Oh, fuck yeah. How's Athens? Athens is happy. Let's fucking go. Send those guys there. Oh, I guess, uh... Didn't I recruit some people? Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Cool. Um, 
then we'll send them up here. <laughs> nice. Next turn, Second Battle of Istanbul. All right. <sighs> oh, fuck France. It's kind of fun when, like... Because <laughs> it feels like just... Oh my god, did you hear what France did? Yeah... They canceled their trade agreements with us. Mm. You know, I can't imagine this naval... All of this navy shit is helping. I guess we should probably cancel our... Cancel our naval recruitment. And just kind of, uh... Hope for the best? How's this looking? Oh, that should be okay. can't afford any more unhappiness in Norway. Can't really afford more unhappiness there either. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Money is not great at the moment. Well, let's upgrade this to a monastery school. Uh, we'll end there.
Oh, I probably should have moved that that army out of uh, Dagestan too. Oh well. And we don't have to worry too, too much about armies and things like that, probably. Because pretty soon, shit's gonna start hitting the fan. We're at war in a bunch of different places. You all know how it is. It's We're about to capture Afghanistan, maybe? That'll be fun. Uh, Afghanistan... I mean, all, all of these jokes about, like, Russia and Afghanistan, I'm, I'm, all these jokes about Afghanistan there, I'm sorry, they are jokes, they aren't to put down, like, Afghanistan or anything, it's, it's more to point out how, how often other countries lose wars in Afghanistan, and that's, that's the joke. If no one put that together, it's There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port oh. will provide an income. All right, 136 trade. per turn. Port we can maintain that for a bit. We just won't. Oh, fuck. God damn you, Venice. Time is it? Four ten. We got a little bit of time. Oh, we have an okay amount of time actually. Oh. Why do our missionaries keep dying in Dagestan? <laughs> Someone must be killing them. <laughs> is it is it just like the people of Dagestan? They're so fucking tired of missionaries <laughs> that this one's just passing through, and they're like, "No, fuck him." Huh. <sighs> Oh, 
All right. We'll load them on and uh, try and send them over to Denmark and end this fucking war. Send them over to Copenhagen. Is it a great choice? Maybe not. But it's the one that we have. All right, guys. Let's try to end a fucking war. Demand their surrender. They have refused. Therefore, let's fuck them up. I think it's summer of 1732. All right. Carcass, uh, You know, Hide them. Whoops. <laughs> Let's hurry that up. 
because we're just going to wait around until until we get our artillery in proper position. Actually, let's kind of put them like that. Actually, maybe up here, too. <sighs> there, and fire at will. Awesome. Actually, light them up. Uh, actually, all those buildings and shit. Huh? Well, Their job will be I thought they would be in range, but they're not. That's okay. You know what, let's switch up to those explosive shells. God damn. Get in that position. Fuck them up. Oh my god. It's just horrifying. Also, I imagine there's some friendly fire going on, but... thought I told them to go up here, but that's fine. Let y'all fire off one more volley against them. Then I'm sending you up the wall.
<laughs> I guess you're going up this wall instead. Just not go up here. Oh, these guys decided to come down here, I guess. The fuck? Alright. Explosives. All right, guys, get through there. Fuck. Fuck it. Charge. Oh my god. Those explosions and shit. Alright. They're winning slightly. 
Oh god. Specifically fire at them. Please. Stop. Just overrun them with your with your magic melee. Shit, this isn't great. going no wonder they're running away you're just abandoning them I like how they're like yeah they're winning decisively but they're fucking broken Guys, this, uh, this might not be great. fire on him. Move into that position. I have a feeling that we can hold him off for at least that amount of time. Fuck. Keep going.
they're just slowly blowing up the walls at this point. Alright, that's one. You're fighting against two people and you have 38. This shouldn't... This shouldn't be like a huge deal, guys. Come on, bayonet him. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually. going on over here because this is god damn this is like that part of the battle you don't actually want to have been involved in Fire on him. Or don't. That's cool too. Oh. We did it. Guys. Folks, we did it. Super uh, costly battle. And there we go. Now to log the casualty numbers for the history books. We've captured the Ottoman capital. We deployed 756. We lost 547. We have 209 men remaining. And we killed 1,137. The Ottomans deployed 1,218. They lost 1,218. They have zero remaining. And they killed 409 of us. And those are the numbers in the history books for the second battle, the second battle of Istanbul.
We captured the Ottomans' capital, guys. We did it. We captured the capital of the Ottoman Empire. I mean, that's just awesome, right? Oh yeah, and because of... I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure there's something about having to destroy all of uh, their buildings. Ugh. I really want that great arsenal, though. Mm. Can't upgrade it anyway, right? What can I? What can I build with it? Oh. You know what? We'll destroy it, we'll rebuild from the ground up. Because I think you have to do that for culture reasons. It, like, decreases how much, uh, it decreases their... Um, like, resistance to occupation or something. Oh no. They fucked up the Mughals really bad. Oh, meanwhile, in more peaceful areas... I know we're not supposed to spend as much money, but, like, look at that. It's now a majority orthodox. <laughs> oh, my God, it's not going to have any Catholicism left soon. Oh fuck, I forgot to move that army towards uh towards India. Oh well. I do know in this game countries can reorganize. So like once uh the Maratha Confederacy reorganized into India and like Prussia reorganized into Germany. Um few other ones did that too like uh if there's a rebellion in Mexico it becomes like an actual country which I think anytime like there's a rebellion in any of the territories it should kind of become its own thing like that you can trade with and stuff I think that would be cool a lot of people might not but I think it would be great also, if you want to join the council, it's a pretty cool thing. You can go to our Discord, and it's a cool Discord. We try to do stuff on there. It's it's not built up a lot yet, but it hopefully will be. Hopefully soon. You know what I mean? This episode, I, I wasn't expecting a ton. I mean, I was figured it would be a lot of waiting around, sitting around, like, waiting for navies to build and things. So it would be a more economic episode. But it turns out... You know, it turns out it's, uh... There's a lot going on. War with... War with the Maratha Confederacy. Uh...
Invasion of Istanbul. A lot of stuff. I should probably check what's all in the towns around Istanbul, too. I bet that... The ruling classes have written a letter of demands to your national leader as they are unhappy with the current government. Are they? Failure to comply will lead to an organized rebellion. Of course they are. Acquiescence at this stage could lead to further demands. Where exactly will you draw the line? Hmm? hmm. How's our... All right, income's not terrible anymore. Some wineries, some clearances. The main thing I'm looking for is, uh... I know it's fucked up, but a part of me wants to destroy that college. Because <laughs> that's going to fuck with us. How are y'all looking? Hmm. Not as much religious unrest as I was expecting. We can work with that, though. Let's look for a missionary. Crimea? Crimea, how you doing? You still need this guy? How much religious unrest you got? Not a ton. You know what? Hey, how'd you like to go to Turkey? <laughs> He's like, I guess... <laughs> Did, did they do something over here to stop that? I want to see, I want to see, I want to see. Ah. Uh -uh. There. Uh, I put a Jesuit college there. They're <laughs> just like, fuck that noise. We're done with that. I mean, thank y'all for uh, your weirdness, but like, no. <laughs> well, they're still Great Britain. A lot of the times there's a there's some kind of rebellion around here pretty early on. So you end up with the U.S. before 1776 a lot of the time. I know, guys. I know. It's... We're working on it, okay? I hope this isn't... I hope that's not this guy. God damn it. He's just like, fuck these people. I hate America. Well, sorry, dude. This is, this is where you are. Hmm. Well. <laughs> well, fuck these guys, I guess. <laughs> First battle. We we're doing it. It's time. The 
battle on the road. You know, I think... I don't think mortars have this issue, or these 12 pounders, I should say. I don't think they have the same issues as the, uh... I don't think they have the same issues as, like, the, uh, the other cannons that we've had, where they just start shooting the fucking walls, but... I think they just said Dragoon, but I don't think they are? Pretty sure these are just standard Cav. Oh god. Yeah, burn the horses. Oh god, they already their generals are already dead. Let's bring these guys around. What are these? What are Gurkhas?
Oh, my seeks. I love these guys when I, uh, when I played them out the Confederacy. They're really good in early game. Now wait a minute, is this an entire army full of, are these guys all, uh, all melee? God damn! Yeah, I'm done with these mortars. <laughs> concerned. Very concerned. Oh god. Oh jeez, they just massacred those guys, I guess. Get them. Flank them. Break their souls. Come for them. Run them down. Y'all might want to run faster. We did it, everybody. I don't know what to call that battle. Uh, winter 1732. Battle on the road.
We fought off the Maratha invading forces. In Afghanistan. We deployed 1,085. We lost 12. Wow, that's just... We just... Destroyed them. We have 1,073 left. And we killed 230. The Maratha Confederacy deployed 279. They lost 262. They have 17 soldiers left. And they killed 11 of ours. Oh my god, 17 people are now making up an army, I guess. March. Oh, that's that's too high, guys. March. Now, on the march to Kabul. Ooh, Kashmir. Kashmir is uh, when I played the Ottoman Empire, the second war I had with uh, with the Marat, the Confederacy, was uh, it mostly took place around Kashmir, and it ended with uh, in what I called a stalemate. Although it ended with me having Kashmir because of the treaty that ended the war. Technically, I got peace on my terms, but I lost a lot more people than they did. So, who won? Who's to say? Alright, guys, let's get in the boats and fuck off. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Готовы выполнять указания. What? Retreat. Fuck. Hang on. Oh god, that's really far. Um Oh what the shit? Oh wait, never mind. I'm losing my mind. I was just like, hang on a second, when did Norway get captured? Russia, what? <laughs> what would you say to that? Plus, I give you some monies. That monies. <laughs> 
Why? Prussia, we're, we're really in a bind because I need to move these troops to your territory. Um, what if I give you sextants? You want some sextants? You give me five and I'll give you ten. It's really in your favor. It's not a dumb agreement. It's not a bad one. You win. I'm literally just 20. Um, no, not. <laughs> Honestly, seasoning and flintlock. And then we'll also give you money. I understand. I think, uh, yeah, you're allies with all of my enemies. But, like, you want? <sighs> Fucking A, man. You know what? I'm just gonna move my troops to your territory. Fuck this. I'm done with this bullshit. I'll give you one more chance on the next turn, but then, like, we're done. We're done with this shit. You want to declare war on us? Bring it on. We've already fucked around with your friends. Who are you at war with? You're at war with Austria. Uh, Poland. Those are our allies, motherfucker. Are you ready to bring down the fucking heat? Let's end that turn. <laughs> We're trying to end the war with Venice. We're trying, guys. We're trying to end all these wars. That's that's the goal at this point. It's just, uh, let's be done with some war. As... As I scream and yell about Prussia and threaten them, <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna move troops to your territory if you if you disagree. So, <laughs> same same thing's gonna happen either way, motherfuckers. I think we'll do one more turn. You know what? If I have to fuck with the Germans or the Prussians or whoever to end this war with Sweden, I will. You aren't our friends. You're assholes. And you're lucky that you've survived this long. Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become too unhappy. Fucking yay. You must either appease the rioters by lowering taxes Ours. What the shit? The Why? Down. Whatever you do, act quickly before the riot becomes a rebellion. Hmm. That's not great. <laughs> They said that that was, um, 
Where's this letter of demands? That's... Okay. I mean, power to the workers, but... You know. Also, come on. Stop fucking around. Uh, we're losing money every turn, so... Now I can't make that fucking trade agreement. Aw oh, man, Norway? Come on. Damn. I really wanted to, like, do some cool shit in Norway. Oh well. No, we're not attacking a town. <laughs> uh, yeah, everybody, let's fuck up towns in Prussia. Guys, I don't think that's enough to defend from this army. Like, maybe they're... Maybe Austria's fucked up cav army will, will be able to take down, you know, the Polish army. But, like, the Polish army can take you, dude. Like, you're done. It's one of the reasons why I'm like, all right, fuck you. I don't care about your territory. Like, sorry, not sorry. <laughs> I just came up with a really dumb idea, but like... Okay, that'll probably help. <sighs> that'll help. Maybe with money? Shit. Fuck, they're not an immediate threat to us. All right. Shit. <sighs> Meanwhile, in Kabul... Summer of 1733. <laughs> um, let's demand surrender. Wow, really? Y'all are about to get fucked up. About to get your shit rocked. Looks like looks like the Maratha Confederacy decided to to like they were just like, oh yeah, we can take down a crumbling empire and uh, we can take down two crumbling empires and never like you know fuck Russia. They're so far away, and then they fucked around and found out. Wonder. I mean, I, we aren't really in a economic position to talk about giving away territory at this point, so we're not gonna. But honestly, I 
wonder if Afghanistan would be a good territory to gift to the Iroquois in replacement for Tataria. I would... It sucks. I feel like it sucks that uh, we traded... They traded us territory, and we traded them territory. Like, that was the main reason... That was their main uh, request. That's their main... The main reason they agreed to a military alliance was because we gave them mainland territory. Or off-continent territory. Colonial territory, I guess it would be. Um, and then it ended up rebelling against them because it just... It never occurred to me properly that, holy shit, they might not, like, formerly Russian territory might not like to be ruled by a foreign nation. So I figure we could follow the Georgia model next time we gift them some territory around here. Uh, we could give them territory and keep some of our armies there to put down any rebellions that they end up dealing with. Woo! Oh my god. Yeah, I would too, guys. Oh no, you never, you either run straight forward or straight backwards from that. You do not run parallel. Wow. Yeah, like that, don't run parallel. <laughs> Was it heroic? Is it really heroic? We blew up a bunch of armed populace. <laughs> God damn it. We have captured Afghanistan. Wait, let's just say Kabul. Ten seventy three. We lost zero. Ten seventy three. And we killed 162. Uh, 197. They lost 197. Zero remaining. They killed zero. <laughs> Complete annihilation. Well, fuck. The things I thought would fix us are apparently putting us in even more debt. Hey, Moogles. 
You want to have an alliance? Although, can you really still be called an empire? Like, for real. Because, I mean... The way it looks... Is that you basically have no military anymore. Oh my god, we have... We need a, a, a head of India. Shit. I do think it's kind of fun that the the head of India is a fucking white Russian dude. I'm not seeing anyone who's, like, terrible, so... I mean, the only one I would like better is the the head of Indian Affairs, and, uh... Well... Huh. Looks like they're... That was the entire army in Afghanistan. Well... <laughs> Wow. <laughs> okay, folks. <laughs> Let's unload. Uh, oh, if I do that, it's, it's war. Hmm. I'll give you all of my technology. And... All of my money. Yes. Yes! Woo! I just love the idea of, like, yo, can we come into your territory? Fuck. Man. So, wait. Um... Shouldn't he be able to move across here? Oh, fuck. It's because of Hanover. Hanover! I got an idea for you. Oh, fuck. They're not gonna go for this shit. Um, yo, I know you hate us, but, like, do you want... Do you want this... We have no money, but we can give you all of our technology.
Ah, cool. There we go. Woo! You know what? Let's do one more turn. And just remember, guys, uh, I upload all of these, uh, all of these in full onto YouTube. So if you ever want to watch any of these streams back cataloged, you can watch them on YouTube. Our YouTube is Psycho Juice Box. It's pretty awesome. That's also where we post B views, which is our main show. It's about movies. And. It's fucking awesome. Now, am I necessarily happy with Prussia? having indefinite military access. No. But like, that sounds like a problem for later Russia. Also, Poland is fucking with them so hard that like, it's, I, I think they're distracted a little bit. Cause I think they're also, I think they're at war with Austria and Poland. I wonder if gentlemen, like, get anything from foreign schools. Is that a thing? Hmm. I wonder where that army's going. You are losing money hand over fist. Yes, I no know. Money left in your treasury. There are several things you can do to lift yourself out of the financial mire, including raising taxes if possible, establishing further trade agreements and trade routes, disbanding units to reduce upkeep costs, or sending more Indian and merchant fleets to trade theaters. Well, that's a situation that I'm sure won't just totally fucking break down. Why are they called Rumelian rebels? <laughs> I understand that we're losing money. So how is the Mughal... Oh, fuck. Hey, the answer is they don't have one. Also, our military is almost even with theirs. Well...
Jerusalem, how are you doing? That's not great. The answer is, we're... We are not wanting... What's awesome is that they were able to put I know we're bankrupt. It's it's a problem. Just it's fine. Wurtenberg. Huh. Look at Prussia go. Huh. All sauce Lorraine, historically like Germany will fuck people up royally for that. Hmm. Oh. My god, so the only reason that Poland hasn't killed... Well, maybe that cav is... Maybe that cav would fuck up Poland. Hmm. Alright, let's... Oh, wow. You know... Like, in, in Mesopotamia? No. Oh, wait. I see. <laughs> You know what? We'll disband these guys. Yeah, they don't have any of those. But every everyone's pretty happy here. So Man, how bad. Oh my god, what the fuck? Why? How is it getting so much worse? I know we lost a few trade, but damn. Hey, Savoy. You, you wanna trade with this? Oh, 
wait a minute, I understand why Austria kept going back and forth on their trade with us. It's it's because they became no longer able to. Because <laughs> they lost all of their territories. Yay, France, we're trading. All right. All right. Hopefully that's going to help. I mean, I guess a little bit, but what it seems like it wants from me is just disband your entire military. <clears throat> but the more military I lose, it seems like... I, I have no options. Wait a minute. I've got those armies in Chechnya and Dagestan that I need to move. Fuck. Those should have been moving this whole time. Because they should be over getting fucked up in India and saving me money. I'm just going to keep my whole navy right outside of that that Swedish area and just be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. you want to come and fuck up my navy? <laughs> Got a perfectly happy navy over here that you haven't fucked up. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. By the way, guys, if uh, if you want to join the council where you can vote on what Russian policy should be or present ideas, like, say, you're like, no, fuck, fuck Savoy for rejecting our trade agreements. I think we should go to war with them. You can present that, and then everyone will vote on it. Isn't that cool? Like, anyone can present things. Or if you're just like, we're tired of France's shit, we should go to war with France. You can do that, and everyone will vote on it. Anyone can present a vote in the council. Not just me. left in your treasury to build anything this turn. Yes, I know. Increasing taxation and trade, or disbanding redundant armies. Yes, I know. I know what things are. Macedonia farmland. Fuck, I can't believe I forgot to move these guys. This whole time they should have been heading to India. But you're supposed to be you're supposed to be supporting this other army. This is like Napoleon level logistics, man. You know what? What? Oh. No, wait. <laughs> Dum da dum dum. There we go. Now I can send my people into your territory to help them, hopefully. <clears throat> Although it is kind of scary that we were just like, oh yeah, like, uh, we'll. I, I like that Afghanistan just generally seems pretty chill about the fact that we just, uh, we're in charge now. They're like, alright, whatever. 
What's their army looking like? Awesome! Look at these musket men. Holy fuck. Why is the path blocked? What's blocking the path? Fuck, do I have to, like, get a boat to go over there? Oh my god, I... Rake died. Uh oh, which Orthodox missionary died? Uh oh. Well, he's been there for like 20 years. I. We're just like at a weird stalemate right now. Well, our income next turn. We're up! We're up! All right, cool, 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 cool. Fuck yeah. <laughs> the Battle of Macedonia Farmland. What a terrible name. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. Think we should have this, should think we should have this, think we should have this. Also, this is the last turn for sure, because I gotta go after this. I know I said that like a while ago, but like for real this time. One of the most fucked up things to do is just be like, yeah, canister fire, like, right behind these guys. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Unfortunately, since I've been playing Rome 2 so much, a lot of my artillery tactics end up coming from, end up coming from the way, uh, Oh shit, these are all melee. And those Delhi horsemen are just fucking off.
one of the reasons not a big fan of these. Maybe I should disband these and then replace them. Nice. Damn, that was that was a neat. Fire on them while they run away. Yeah. All right, let's get them over there. They're shattered. All right.
Oh shit. Donna? Yeah, we're almost done. Hello. you do that? Yes, I know you love microphones. Quickly, everyone line up. Not you. You don't have line discipline. You don't know. You don't know. You have no line discipline. No line discipline. No line discipline. Now give me this back. This is my headset. Alright. Nope. I need you to stop headbutting. I need you to stop headbutting because I have to type now. Mm, that's a lot of rebels left. We have defeated the Rumelian rebels. Yes, 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 you're a sweetie and everyone loves you. Yeah. But I... Ow! Stop that. Alright, we deployed. 
960. We lost 85 or 84, really? That's. Eight hundred and seventy six remaining. We killed four hundred and forty two of the rebels. Hundred and twenty five. They lost four hundred and fifty four. They got three hundred and seventy one remaining. They killed forty two. <laughs> Sounds an awful lot like half of half of the half of our casualties were us. <laughs> Some belly rubs. Yeah, I don't think we have anything else to do on here. So we'll end our turn and that'll be it. Right, Donna? Right, Donna? You know, for a short hair cat, you sure do shed a lot. Nope. Stop fucking with that. Austria and Prussia fucking around? Man, Prussia kind of looked like it was struggling at the beginning, but it must have been all that help from Poland. Like, Poland uh, taking down Austria a few pegs, and now Prussia has just had Time to uh, put their armies in other places. Oh, did they put up the last... Is there a new season of Brooklyn Nine-Nine? Hmm. Hulu sending my phone notifications about Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I'd watch a new season. Also, it probably doesn't help that all these trade routes are getting raided. Definitely not helping our financial issues. No! They were our 
our military allies. I mean, they were pretty new, but still. Well, on that note, we are done for the day, guys. Uh-oh. All right. Well, guys, I am going to quick jump in, grab our links, grab our text wall, if you want to check out, like, all of our fun stuff, it's going to be cool. It's all on our YouTube. Everything's on our YouTube. It's pretty cool. It's a good thing. Uh, lately, we have been doing Skyrim and Empire Total War Total. Or, like, that's that's generally what we're doing for the most part. Um, we've been doing... Uh, and we do a little bit of other stuff, but, uh, on Sundays we will often do, um, on Sundays we sometimes do, uh, Stardew Valley. We've been, eh, it's been a little iffy lately, but, uh, we're probably going to get back into the swing of things a little later, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, we are... Let's uh, go to the... Shit, how do I do this? Hey. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I didn't know that you were here yet. You usually text me when you're leaving. I didn't know you left yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we're uh, we're gonna go and raid a uh, Slim Reaper. So, bye everybody.